dear students welcome back to my channel this video for the students of class 2a and also for class 2b i hope all of you are keeping well we were discussing the chapter number 3 that is numbers up to 1000 in the previous video session we already about discussed we already uh, discussed about the three digit numbers up to 999 and i also have given some home task that is uh, i told you to write all the number names not number names all the numerals in your book i think i hope you already have completed all these things today we are going to discuss that smallest one digit number you know that is one smallest two digit number is 10 smallest three digit number is 100 these all questions we have discussed in the first unit syllabus and also so what is the greatest one digit number obviously nine what will be the greatest two digit number is 99 and here you will know the what is the greatest three digit number yes nine 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 that means all digits are nine so in this video we are going to discuss their number names so what would be the number name of this numeral 999 yes obviously this is 900 99 because we have discussed the new place value that is hundreds place new place that is hundreds place that's why this three that's why this is three digit number so it will be 999 clear similarly if i say 527 so what would be the its number name 500 27 similarly in this manner you can write all the number names of the following numbers okay so students in your book in the page number 50 we see that in question number 4 write the number name so you have to write all the number names okay and all the uh, and in question number five write the number so you, have, you should have to write all the numeral i am solving only one question for four number and four a and only one question from five a so four a i am solving so what write the number name so it is given one two three that means one hundred so you have to write 123 so in this manner you have to write all these number names from b to j so these all all sums are your hw and in question number 5 write the number so i am solving only 5a so 231 39 239 200 means in the hundreds place the digit will be 2 39 you know 39 is 39 so the number will be 239 that is 239 so similarly question from b to j you have to solve in your book or you can uh, write in your copy 
right this is very easy so take your time try to learn and write them all so now we will discuss representing three digit numbers on the abacus three digit number on the abacus you know i already have discussed about the two digit number on the abacus in first unit lesson so we are going to do the same thing okay so there will be three spike because because we are discussing about the three digit number so there will be three spikes and in each spike uh, there will be some beads according to their questions so now i am solving question number c it is given count the beads on the abacus and write the number and the number name represent represented by them as shown question number a it is already solved so i am now uh, now i am telling how to solve again so in the first spike this is the place one one's place this is the second spike this place is known as tens place and this is a new place that is 100 so in this one's place there will be there is uh, there are three beads so you have to write three in the tens place there are, there are two beads so you have to write two and in the hundreds place there also be two beads so you have to write two so what will be the number name it will be 223 similarly in question number b you have to count in the ones place how many beads are there so one two three four five six seven so write seven here okay then tens place count the beads one two three four five so write down five now in the hundreds place one two three four five six seven eight nine so write down nine so what is the number name nine hundred fifty seven okay so similarly question number c you will do question number d you will do question number e you also will do and now i am doing question number f so count so you know you have to start from the always you have to start from the ones place don't start from the hundreds place you have to start from the ones place if you start in the abacus from the hundreds place it will be okay but uh, i am telling you you please start from the ones place so now one count the beads one two three four five six seven eight nine so how many beads are there in the ones place nine so write down nine in the tens place one two three four five six seven eight nine this is also nine and in the hundreds place is one two three so the number the numeral will be 399 so number name 399 okay so please everyone do it in your copy or in your book and try to learn now in the page number 52 that is the next page draw the beads on the abacus to show the given number so in this question you have to draw the beads so i will solve only one and you have to solve by yourself rest of the part so please everyone please follow this 
how to write it's very easy and we already have solved in the first unit syllabus so for the two digit number because we are in the three digit number we will do the same thing so please again if you forgot this how to do this so again please uh, carefully watch this video and listen to me so now i'm solving seven number a is given 846 so 846 so in the ones place how many beads will be there yes six so so draw six beads one two three four five six similarly in the tens place it would be four one two three four and for eight one two three four five six seven eight so it would be eight okay and question number c question number e question number d and question number f everyone please follow uh, everyone please do this in your copy or in your book i'm solving question number b in the ones place only one bid is here so draw one bid in the tens place it is it it is representing only zero that means no beads are in the tens place in the hundreds place how many beads yes seven so draw seven one two three four five six and seven so this is seven zero one okay and rest of the rest of the part c d e f please do it by yourself and try to learn now question number eight draw beads on the abacus to show the given number name so here it is given only the number numeral here it is given the number name so please convert the number uh, number name into the numeral so it will be easy for you to solve or to count the beads or to draw the beads so 271 that means 271 so in the ones place it will be only one bead in the tens place it will be seven two three four five six seven and in the hundreds place it will be two so similarly question number b question number c and question number d please do you do it by yourself okay in page number 53 that is in the next page um, you have to write complete the following as shown 9b uh, it says uh, you have to write in the you have to write in the places all the digits so it is given 282 so these two it will come in the hundreds place this eight it will come in the tens place and it this two it will come in the ones place so now draw the beads so in the ones place it will be two beads in the tens place it will be eight beads that means one two three four five six seven eight and in the hundreds place it will be two so similarly in the question number c in the hundreds place the five the digit five it will come three in the tens place it will come and four in the ones place it will come so similarly you have to draw all the beads according to their place places so question number d and question number e please do it yourself okay and that's all for today students we will discuss about the place value and the phase value and other things that is the expanded form and the short form for three digit numbers on the next video so go through this video and try to learn and do it whatever i did keep learning thank you